All right, guys, before we do the big reveal, magrika muna tayo from items 10 to 2. At number 10, Little Miss Muffet. 9, Rubba Dub Dub. 8, Ba Ba Black Sheep. 7, Humpty Dumpty. 6, It's Raining, It's Pouring. 5, Rockabye Baby. 4, London Bridge is Falling Down. 3, Three Blind Mice. And 2, Merry Merry Quite Contrary. And at number one, ang nanguna, ang pinakamalagim na Nursery Rhyme Origins is, everybody, Jack and Jill. You got it. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. The most popular theory on the origin of Jack and Jill is that they are the French couple King Louis XVI, Jack who lost his crown, and Queen Marie Antoinette, Jill who came tumbling after, who were both guillotined in 1793. Creepy. Because that's what happened in the French Revolution. Supposedly, when they asked her how masses were supposed to eat, she said, let them eat cake. Apparently, let them eat brioche. Ganun sila ka lost in their own world. So there was a revolution, and then they got beheaded. It's a playful recollection of a horrible execution. You can understand the masses were really, parang they've had enough of the excesses of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. Wala, nirequal na lang nila siguro in a very playful song, yung horrible, uh, execution na yun. Of course, growing up, we didn't know about the dark history behind this seemingly innocent rhyme. Hindi mo naman iniisip yun, numaliit ka eh. Parang, yun nga, iisipin mo, at saka sa mga picture books naman, nakikita mo, nababali. Parang may bali yung corona ni Jack. At may suot siyang corona, magtataka ka lang bakit may corona siya. Nung bata tayo, parang kinakanta-kanta lang natin yun habang nag-skip rope ka or something, di ba? Tapos, ano na, tuwa ka lang. Di mo naman pinag-iisipan eh. I, I even doubt if, if, if most parents you know, kind of think about it mga bagay na ito. When I was a child, I didn't know that it meant a literal crown. So I thought, did it mean that part of his head was shorn off, falling down? So it's an accident, right? Is he scalped? Is he on the bottom? In the illustration, oh, super sanitized. Parang they just lang sila nang wala lang. So super sanitized. Then sometimes they smile. Pa sila. So hindi mo alam kung bakit sila nakasmile kahit na nahuhulog na sila, kahit natapon nila yung tubig. Some would question though, why did they have to go up the hill just to fetch a pail of water? And why did they build a well up the hill? Wait, who said anything about a well? Again, as a child, nirinig ko yung nursing rhyme. I'm disturbed na ako kasi why wouldn't you sing about two people falling down? Kawawa naman sila, kawawa naman yung tubig. Parang... <laughs> Sayon too big, but I guess it could mean blood also. Who knows? Because it's a beheaded king and queen. Especially, de ba? Growing up in the Philippines, we're a poor country. At some point, there was drought. So parang kung ano, sayon naman yun too big. So yun talaga yun isip ko nung bata ako. Concerned talaga. Nakatuwa na the fact that na isip ito at ginawa ng mga tao at eventually naging bahagi ng ng mga kinakanta ng mga bata. Nakasika din ang ulo kung paano nangyari yun. Parang it's the fall of the regime of King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. Di ba parang ang, ang ganda, ang ganda ng ano yun, parang nagiging literal na paghulog. Kaya doon ko na-appreciate yung wordplay, yung metaphor, yung symbolisms. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top 10 ang Pinaka Malagim na Nursery Rhyme Origins. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Hope we didn't creep you out too much. This has been your host, Revilson Fernandez. Guys, you gotta add us up. We got a Facebook, we got a Twitter, we got an Instagram account. Let us know what you think. This is your show. Next week, get your pens and notepads and tablets handy as we continue listing down the top 10 of anything and everything you grew up listening to as a child. Dito lang sa paborito ni Stanambayan, ang Pinaka.